everything has an origin story. A Stallone before he was Balboa. A Glover before he was Gambino. Hobbit before the Fellowship. And Anakin before Vader. Except nobody really asked for that story. I get asked all the time why I chose to live in a van, but for me to really explain why I did it, I'd have to take you back. It's 2012. I graduate from Gunnison Valley High School. These are my friends. Ian, Landry, Chad. You might recognize him from my other videos. That's Gunner. And Bogue. I won't steal any credit. This was all Chad's idea. The bagel of win, it was registered as a Winnebago, cost $800 on KSL. It was stripped, built, painted, and driven all the way to California. Why? Because we could. Monday, we're here at Huntington Beach. Starting at Dana Point, we made our way up. Huntington, Valencia, Six Flags, bouncing from Walmart parking lot to the next. We made it to Tar Creek, where I jumped off of the tallest cliff I've ever jumped off my entire life. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, Yay! one, go. In theory, this was going to be one hell of a trip. In practice, though, it was one hell of a trip with a few setbacks. So let me tell you the story about how we got back. We finished our week, we were ready to head back. We had one more night planned uh, to stay at Chad's cousin's place in Las Vegas. It was high noon, one o'clock, maybe two, and we had hit a traffic jam in the middle of the Nevada desert. Now this is bad because we knew that the bachelor pad was prone to overheating. In case of a fire, RVs are nothing but plywood and more combustibles. So this thing would go up in less than 10 seconds. We realized that by being there in the heat with our overheating engine, we had a situation on our hands. In case of a fire, you know, the clothes on our backs were pretty much the only things that we were gonna get out of there. That and maybe the Xbox if we were fast enough. So we had our emergency plan. We're there at a snail's pace, just counting down the minutes, sweating. We all had our shirts off, actually, just trying to make it through this desert. And after about two hours of crawling through the desert, lo and behold, the thing that was stopping us from moving forward was another RV, exactly like ours, burnt to the ground. Needless to say, nothing happened. We got out of there and uh, we made our way home, but it was pretty sketchy. We had no plans, no cares, and I would do it again in a heartbeat if I had the chance. Originally, there were 12 that were meant to go, but six weren't allowed by their parents to jump in this rickety van and drive to California. I mean, they did have a point. It looked like it was about to collapse at any moment, but to you parents of our friends who weren't able to go with us, shame on you, because I can guarantee they don't remember that week of their life. In our heads, we had this mentality that for better or for worse, we were going to remember it. And that's what makes a good story. There are a few things that I pulled from this trip. One is not to hold back. There's no reason to. Two, so what if the paint job sucks? That's cosmetics, not mechanics. And three, Confidence goes a long way, at least to California and back. If you're presented with an option, 
take it. It's all for your story, for bad or for good. You'll remember it. You never talk about your days in the office. You never dream about the mundane. You never laugh about overtime and you never appreciate what stays the same. Do it for your story. Do everything for your story. Because if you can't remember it in the future, why are you still doing it?